Now it's time to get to the third documentary of the series. This time, we're going to be reviewing Uprising. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the film Uprising. Now, this is the third of the three documentaries, the third and final of the three documentaries brought to you by Steve McQueen, which is going to be premiering on Amazon Prime Video September 17th. Now, one difference with this one is that this one is a three-part documentary, all being about an hour each, so three hours to get through the chapter of Uprising. And Uprising explores something, again, something I knew nothing about. And this one explores back in 1981 in the UK, the new crossfire that killed 13 black youths, the Black People's Day of Action, which saw over 20,000 people join together for, for the first organized mass protest in black for by black British people, and then the Britain riot. So this documentary is explores all three of the events, how they're all intertwined, and how the process of race and, and race relations are all defined the generations to come. So a lot of good information here, but this one also gave uh, more like, you know, why it, it is sad of the events that happened. This one really was like a step forward to like a step of promise, a step forward in promise of like better things to come. And I know that could be a relative thing to say, but you know, it, this one did explore at least the idea of what is next, how can we move forward, you know? But uh, talk about the new crossfire. Now, this was something I knew nothing about. This took place back in January of 1981, in which a blaze killed 13 young people, all aged between 14 and 22. And uh, one survivor of that incident did end up taking their life about two years later. Um, and no one knew who started the fire. No one knew what caused it. And investigations quickly closed. And it was sad because it was like these were kids and they gave no regard to it. So there's a lot of parents that to this day still do not know how their kids died in that fire. What started it? Who did it? And there's been, there's been you know, investigations afterwards and theories, but no one has been charged for any of this. Um, and then again, this again is further explores just how black people were treated. You know, this one basically showed you that kids, even kids, could just easily be discarded and no one would care. They would say, okay, cool. And, and not to mention, there was no sympathy from the country. Like, there was no official statement acknowledging it from the queen or anybody from authority. So it was like a, this happened, case closed, forget about it type of thing. Um, and this really sent the people at war, black people of the UK, they sent them to war. They said, look, they're trying to kill us. They're not going to do anything for us. And, you know, they're, they're having all sorts of different things happening here, like uh, a stop and frisk. And like, of course, that's just not an easy thing that happens. People were being, you know, it's police brutality and. You know, they were beating people down just because of suspicion or, you know, if anybody was black, they just was just easily targeting them. So it was, you know, it was it was easily racism of targeting the black people just because they didn't want them there. Um, so in this, you know, you, you we got to hear from archivists, activists, excuse me, <laughs> um, former police officers, even a black police officer who had a really interesting perspective and how crazy that was. I mean, them victims of the brutality. You got to hear from them as well, too, along with parents of the kids who died in that um, horrific story of the um, 13 kids died from that, that fire inside the school. So, uh, you know, this documentary even showed back into the 80s how black lives matter, how black lives didn't matter, and uh, just how injustice amongst black people has this been a thing for generations all over the world you know um i will say on a positive note i really did like the soundtrack of this a lot of reggae some bob marley and all other uh, artists of reggae music all within it so it was you know it kept a good balance when things were getting deep you got some good music that really lifted you you know um but this documentary was the focus of 
black people demanding what they needed and that's equal rights and that's what uprising was all about so with that being said folks you have to check out all three five hours worth of content three documentaries from steve mcqueen all dropping september 17th on amazon prime video it's a lot of information so be ready to take it all in because it is a lot and you will definitely leave or have finished learning something but jump in the comments folks and let me know your thoughts about this and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon